Yo YouTube, okay so welcome to episode 2 of the Cape Completion series um, As you can see what I'm doing is I'm just closing off the last episode by putting the cooking cape that we got, 99 cooking in the last episode, into the cape rack in the POH This episode what I'm going to be looking to do is recomplete the hard combat diaries by going to TOA and then I'm going to push to get the dragon warhammer just coming in here with an AFK bit of redwoods. Um, and as you can see, 91 woodcutting getting up there. And I am reasonably close to a fletching level um, as I'm just making these into arrow shafts. So I will come back to you when we get 92 fletching. And we're back. And as you can see, about to get 92. To fletching, there it is. Um, we will probably get the most of fletching from arrow shafts at Redwoods after I bank the logs for the bird houses. Um, but for now, fletching will be put on a pause. We'll keep going with wood cutting, but I want to do a little bit of mining just to get that up to 93 as I'm close. So we're at Amethyst. Um, nice and slow, nice and AFK. All I'm going to do is I want to get 93 f mine in here I want to get enough uh, dart tips so that I can boost a whole nother fletching level so I'm going to sit here AFK time all the way up until then as you can see 93 mining um, getting up there and then from here now I'm going to go TOA and dash out this KC to get the hard diary ok first KC back at TOA 10 KC and holy shit we've got a fucking purple chest on the first one back hopefully this is good I mean anything will do me some favours as well I haven't got anything from here yet so anything's good so let's see what we get nice ring we'll take that we will take that um, decent that's probably the best mm, that or the fang is decent to get first so I'm happy with that can't go wrong with a um, ring on the first one back. So another 10kc here. We need to push all the way up to 20kc to get the achievement. Kc 11. Personal bester. Decent run. No purple, unfortunately. But you can't expect a back-to-back. -back, especially not just at 150s. Um, seeds. Emeralds. Decent. Let's push on to the next kc. KC12, slightly slower. All I'm doing with these is just 150s um, just to get it over and done with. I will come back and smash out all the experts and everything later on down the line. Dart tips, toe flax, dragon beds, decent. Um, but for now, all I'm doing is just doing 150s, nice and comfy, nice and cosy with my gear and just smashing them out. Um, but yeah, it's just easy for now. So just doing the 10kc at 150s. Uh, 14kc. No purple. Not to be expected, to be fair. Especially not at the level or the kc that I'm at. Oh, another thread. We'll take that. That can sit in the bank. Nice. Five more to go. 15. Any purples? Nothing. Another white light. Some manta rays, decent. Apart from that, trash. 16 KC. Um, <coughs> while I was doing this, I was getting more and more comfy with the room, so I was sort of looking forward to actually coming back here and um, getting some capes, getting some purples as we go through the collection log for TOA. I think it is good content. Good content, sorry. Um, it's just going to take a bit of practice to get used to. Um, but it is it is good and I do enjoy it. So it'll be good to come back to. Sharks, Magic Seeds. Uh, 18kc. Um, getting up there now. A couple more to push through. And then we can actually go and get this Dragon Warhammer off the big fucking lizards. What do we get? Nothing good. Jawstall Seeds and some gems. Nothing exciting. 19kc. Last couple now. Any purples to finish it off? Nope. 
and unfortunately not, but hopefully we get some good seeds. Nice, decent, nothing massively exciting. 20kc, last one, as you can see there. I've completed the hard tier of the combat achievements again. And now I can use 45 cannonballs in my cannon. And I've got an increased chance of hard clues from the shamans, which is good. No purple on the last one, not to be expected. Decent, happy days. Let's go get Okay, so shamans, as you can see, I've used up all of my cannonballs. I've used, I've been here for a good chunk of hours. I haven't really recorded anything because there's nothing there. But I've killed 8,500 and still no Dragon Warhammer. So I don't want to make all of my steel bars into cannonballs when I haven't used them for construction. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to smash out 99 construction right now. So I'm here at the Blast Furnace. I have just now, or um, this is the last inventory of all of the iron ore that was in my bank. Um, and I've made it all into steel bars. Um, so they are going to be used for construction, mahogany homes first, before I make them into cannonballs. So as you can see there, I've got 6,000 of odd of them. Um, so I'm going to use them for construction before I rinse them. Um, here I am finishing off making all of the mahogany planks in my bank. Um, I've used the PvP world um, Camelot Telly um, butler method to make all of my planks. Private off, lock the house, make sure no PKs come in and ruin my day. Um, but this is the last inventory of these. Get back to the bank and I'll show you exactly how many planks we have made. So I've been doing this for probably about three, four hours. Um, and as you can see, I've made 28,000 planks. Um, so it's cost me about uh, 30, 40 mil. I haven't paid complete attention. But that's all the planks done. That's all of the uh, steel bars made for Mahogany Home. So now, 99 construction, no excuse. Let's just send it. So coming in here with the first level of the construction grind from 87 to 99. And there we have 88 construction, 89 construction, 21.62 total. Um, and here, as you can see in the chat box, I now have 2,000 points. So looking at the collection log, you can see I'm missing one item, which is the Hasidious Blueprints, which is 2,000 points. So I'm now going to purchase that just to complete the collection log for Mahogany Homes. And now I'm just going to stack my points all the way up. So let's go and give this to an estate agent and get it into my house. Yes. Hand it in, been redecorated. Right, let's go have a look, see what the house looks like now with the Hosidius theme. Nice, we've got the nice wood, looking decent. <coughs> this just means now all of the points I'm gonna get from Mahogany Homes is now just gonna be saved all the way up until the end. I'm not gonna waste them on supply crates. 90 construction, flying for it. 91. 2164 total, 92, just sending it straight through. 93 construction. 94 construction, just fucking sending it, there's no stopping. 95 construction. <coughs> Can now make the fairy ring and spirit tree combo. 96 construction, three levels to push. 97 construction in exactly the same house, same position, up to the million levels now. 98 construction with one level to go. This has been done over probably four days, I'd say. Been doing some decent hours, loads of uh, contracts. Um, and here we are for the last couple of uh, builds to get 99. Is this going to do it? 
Nope. Um, is that one? E that's one XP off. Okay, so let's build this and we should get, well, we will get 99 construction. Boom. There we go. 99 construction. This unlocks us probably the best, most useful skill cape out of all of the skill capes. Uh, and as you can see there, I can make the top end um, cape rack, which I will be doing at some point. And as you can see there, 99 construction. So I'm going to finish off the builds in this contract and then let's go get the construction cape. Cool. So I'm at the um, estate agent. Let me buy my skill cape, please. Yes, yes, certainly that sounds fair. Boom, there it is. Construction cape achieved after, as you can see there, 2,000 odd contracts. And now I have nearly 9,000 points um, or reward points stacked up. Um, and that's the most useful cape in the game, I'd say, achieved on the Iron Man. It's cost a lot of money and a lot of time. Cool, so let's end the episode up here by let's we've got 99 construction, so let's get a cape into the cape rack. That now puts us up to 15 out of 68, so we're getting there one at a time, slowly, slowly getting up there. But 15 out of 68, happy with that, decent. Um so it brings me on to the next episode. So next episode, what we are gonna do is we're just we're gonna get that um Dragon War armor. So we're gonna do Slayer. We're gonna keep sending Slayer. A couple more. I've got a Hydra task at the moment. We're gonna do Slayer. We'll get a Hunter level. We'll probably get a few combat levels. Um, I'm gonna smith all my cannonballs. So I'll probably get 90 smithing, and then we will get that Dragon War hammer. Um, yeah, peace.